Hi everyone, this is Istara with a quick energy update for Twin Flames. Um, it is Saturday, September 3rd, 2016, and I've been a little behind on doing some stuff, and I just wanted to give you an update as to what's been going on. So I've been sick pretty much all week, and I haven't been able to get out my new moon um, September uh, update and reading that I usually do. I I'm hoping to do that either later today or tomorrow, um, depending how I feel. Like I said, I haven't been feeling very well. Um, lots has been going on, lots of energies, lots of things happening. Um, so as I mentioned, I was not feeling well this week and really in bed a lot. <laughs> um, so that's been kind of interesting. Um, they're, they're doing electric electricity work here. They're doing a lot of electrical work. Um, next door to where I live, they're, um, they were like pulling up electrical wiring and pipes and stuff um, because they're building a new building. And ever since they've done that, and Monday they started with doing some electronic, I mean shutting down electricity here at my place. And they said, you know, throughout the day on and off there'll be interference with electricity all the way until the second. And I think that had something to do with not feeling well and um, with not um, being able to be okay during that. In addition to, we've been going through lots of stuff, you know. Um, I'm mentioning electricity thing because I really do think I'm highly sensitive to that. I'm, I'm a highly sensitive individual anyway, but I feel almost as if um, being that sensitive, the electricity really has been bothering me. And with the work they've been doing, it's almost like kicked up something that didn't feel good. So um, yesterday morning, I I woke up and I was really still not feeling well. You know, it's crazy. So we had Mercury retrograde on the 30th. Um, it went retrograde. And then on the 1st, we had, um, September 1st, we had the new moon. And we also had a solar eclipse. And I have to tell you, the energy is really, really intense. And you know, add all of that with the electricity work. And it was funny, you know, I had a few people say, oh, maybe it's because of the solar eclipse. And I said, oh, yeah, you know, it might be because of the solar eclipse energy. I might be feeling more of that movement of energy. And then I thought about how I mentioned that the last, you know, last couple of times I talked um, to all of you, I had mentioned that we are moving into a time in a period of pretty heavy, dark energy over the next few weeks. And that um, our job was to stay high frequency and ride through it. Well, you know, it's interesting. I feel like I was talking to a friend and I had mentioned the electricity and as soon as I said that she said to me I feel this kick in my gut almost like it kicked you in the gut and it was funny because I felt like the electricity as soon as I was saying that to her it really hit me that oh my god that's what it is I think it's because of the movement they're doing the work they're doing around here it's kicking up something to affect and interfere with my frequency level and so I think it's like making me not feel well. And here's here's more reason why. So I've been sick, you know, like I mentioned, all week. And Thursday I woke up and I had to run an errand. And I actually had to do a wedding rehearsal. I also officiate weddings. <laughs> That's another part of my business. A wonderful part of my business I love, truly. Um, and it was kind of like I, I happened upon that part of my business. One of my clients had asked if I could do their wedding. And I said, I think I could, technically. And then I realized, oh, my gosh, I can. And so that started off like a, a rolling effect of me doing more weddings, which is kind of cool. So I've done two this month. And I had a rehearsal dinner on um, Thursday night, but I also had to do the rehearsal. And I got up on Thursday, went out to the store, ran an errand, and felt so sick I came home and went right to bed and I was freezing and it was hot and humid here but I was shivering like really cold so I got under the covers and I went to sleep and I woke up maybe an hour before I was supposed to go to rehearsal and I thought oh my god I don't know how I'm gonna do this so I sent a few texts to some friends and said send me some healing and some positive energy because I have to do this rehearsal and the good news is I had prepared the ceremony a week ago I've been really working on getting that stuff all together, and um, it's awesome. It was a really cool ceremony. It was a Celtic ceremony I've never done before because um, I don't have Celtic background. However, I was able to do some research about some traditions and brought that into the ceremony for them, and they were really pleased with it. So I went to the rehearsal dinner, I mean the rehearsal, and then went to rehearsal dinner. I was actually okay, and I'm thinking, how come I'm okay? What is that about? I don't understand. And so when I came back home, 
yesterday, I mean, when I came back home on Thursday night, came home, went to bed, and then Friday morning, I woke up not feeling good again. And I'm like, what is going on? This is like really crazy. And so I ran a couple more errands I had to do, getting ready for this wedding. And then um, I took a nap and I woke up and I went off to the wedding and the wedding went wonderful. It was great. And I was fine at the wedding and I was fine, you know, at dinner there. And then I came home and I went back to sleep and I woke up this morning again, feeling a little bit better, but a little hazy. Um, not, you know, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling sick. I feel a little off though, is what I want to say. So that's been kind of a weird thing. But the reason I'm telling you all of this is yesterday morning. So I, I ran errands, you know, I went morning, morning, woke up. I, I didn't feel very good. And I kept feeling like I need to clear my house. I need to smudge this place. So I did, I did everything I could to drag myself out of bed. And I not only smudge with like sage, I actually don't use sage. I used um, frankincense, myrrh. I used um, copal resin and dragon's blood. I made this combination and I started to really smudge my entire house. And I smudged my whole place twice, you know, with that mixture. And then I did it again with um, a lavender mixture as well as what else did I put in there? Rose petals and um, some patchouli, I believe. I don't know. I can't remember that that one. But I actually, I did that whole, I did it in my house. I made sure I was really smudged. And that gave me more clarity. I went to do my errands, did everything I needed to do, came back. I took a nap, but I didn't feel as sick. I felt a little better. And I feel like my house is a little better. However, they did more work again yesterday. And I feel like I need to smudge again today. It's like crazy. So, I'm, I'm mentioning this because I feel like there's a lot of interference. And so when I say the dark is, you know, active and attacking and, you know, really kind of being there in the way, it's not coming in the way like, ooh, a dark energy is coming into my house and I see it. it it's more like um, amplifying the energies around us, which is what I've mentioned before. And so I felt like the electricity, the energy of um, them work doing electrical work outside of my house, but nearby affecting my energy here, I really feel like that was like the dark amping up the energy to interfere with me because then that lowers my frequency when I don't feel well. And for me to be in bed several days in a row, that's pretty bad, you know, and um, again, I'm not feeling 100%. I'm in my house and I'm like, I don't feel very good here. So maybe that's a sign that I need to be moving soon. I actually feel like that's happening. I just don't know where or when spirit hasn't shown me. And I feel like um, a lot is going to change in the next month and a half. And I really don't know what that all means again. You know, and I I just want to encourage all of you, if you're feeling like sluggish, stuck or something, you know, I don't know what it might be in your area because I'm not there. But for me, them doing electrical work nearby really has influenced me. They, they've unearthed stuff because they're digging in the earth and they're unearthing that energy. They're also putting more wires and um, bringing in more uh, machines and that noise pollution, all that stuff happens. So all of that is like really like irritating, if you will, my um, energy field is kind of like in there, just kind of messing it up a little bit. So it's making me not feel well and ultimately kind of lowering my vibrational frequency. So, um, smudging would be really good so if you can clear your house that would be really awesome if you can do that because I feel like if you can smudge you might be able to clear some of the space around you but also clear any friction or energies that might be trying to interfere or plague you a little bit um, also you know in, previously we mentioned rose oil and frankincense oil um, I want to say that you know, I've been using all of those things that I, I'm telling you about and the tools that I know, but another one is sounds, making sounds, you know. So one of the things I do every morning is I do some chanting and I do I sing the chants. So it's not like um, just repeating the mantra over and over. I actually sing it so my whole voice and body can be placed into it. Part of my um, healing abilities is using sound healing. That's an Arcturian thing that I've, I've um, since started using several years back. And um, while I don't consider myself an opera singer or a singer, um, I do use my voice a lot in my work. And that is one of the things that I use to clear me all the time. So I want to encourage you to use some of that for you if you're feeling stuck or stagnant. And honestly, the truth is when I don't feel well 
and my frequency kind of gets lowered because I'm not feeling well, the last thing I freaking want to do is make noise, you know, and make any sounds. And the other last thing that I want to do is move around and smudge my house because to me it's work. And I, um, I encourage you to do those things that are going to keep you okay because I feel like we are in for the next really heavy few weeks of this murky retrograde. And while I don't feel it's all bad, it's just thick and murky. And I, I feel like if you think of water and it's not clear and it's got like soap, like pond scum or it just doesn't look good, you know, that's what it feels like to me that we're moving through. And um, usually new moons, again, I feel typically I feel like a new, new beginning with new moons. I don't, it's not feeling like a new beginning. It feels like, again, um, we, you know, we spent uh, July transforming and we started to embody who we are in um, August and really bringing that embodiment into our reality. And I feel like September's new moon energy is more, you know, I want to word it like this. It's more like we've embodied who we are. Now we get to play with who we are and try to see, try it out, I guess. Try on those clothes and see how they fit. And we're going to make mistakes along the way. And that's great during Mercury retrograde because it's retrograde because that gives you opportunity to reflect and stuff. But when I think about, um, you know, embodying the image I get in my mind is someone um, in like a Star Trek thing with a phaser. <laughs> I don't know if any of you watch Star Trek, but I'm totally a Trekkie. Um, but like, you know, a phaser and they're learning how to use the phaser and it goes off because they can't like control it. They didn't know what they were doing. And Oh, they're like, oh, I got to learn that again. And so they have to keep practicing. So I feel like we're in practice mode, if you will, of coming out, being who we fully are and who we truly are. And so um, in terms of us awakened twins, I feel like we are bringing in new skills that we have, but we're also giving given opportunities to remember tools that we have. Like, for example, I had to remember that smudging and sound would help me out of this ick that I've been feeling. Um, and it's also helping me to perhaps pave the way a little clearer for myself in terms of what no longer works and what I no longer need in my life and what I no longer want to tolerate. You know, I, I have to say that when we're in this embodiment phase, when we're really beginning to kind of pave the way and be who we are in terms of this new energy that's coming about us, I feel like it's helping us to really like look at our life and, you know, we tolerate a lot of crap. And I think even as we change and we grow, we still kind of have this little bit of toleration that really doesn't need to be there anymore. The truth is we need to be who we are in every moment of every day and every step of the day. So I know that um, recently I've had, you know, someone uh, reach out to me several times, but I've been sick all week and I couldn't really respond to this person. But they kept reaching out to me, even though I responded and said, you know, I'm, I'm really busy at this time. I will have to get back to you. And, you know, I understood their needs were important and I felt bad for them. However, my needs are important too. And that's something that's different for me. Like that's really important that I take care of me and that I'm okay. And I even had to cancel a client this week and I felt really bad about canceling, but I also knew that if I didn't, I wouldn't be physically okay. And the truth is I wouldn't have been any good to that person either. And so, you know, when I do cancel, which is very infrequent, but when I do and I have to cancel, it's usually because I'm not well, I'm not physically feeling well. And I would say that would be like 99% of the time and maybe 0.1% of the time is because my guides are like, we're not supposed to work with this person today. They're not ready. But that's very few and, and far in between. And when I do have to cancel, it's because I'm not well. And I don't ever want to do a session with somebody where I am not 100% for them, you know. And when I'm not feeling well, I'm definitely not 100% for me, let alone for someone else. So um, getting back to that person, you know, I finally – I was tolerating it for a few days and I finally wrote an email and said, you know what, I will let you know when I'm available, so please stop calling me. And that wasn't to be rude or anything, but that was actually to set boundaries because I realized some people need something, but at the same time, they also have to realize there's other people out there. So that's like a new thing for me. Not a total new thing, but it's more of um, an empowered Ra, if you will. And um, 
so that's part of the embodiment. Now, in terms of the twin that's not awakened, I feel like, think about it. They're kind of feeling out everything. They are now in this new body, this new embodiment of who they are. They're bringing that energy into them. And they're going to have try and fail, try and fail, and succeed. That's what they're going to be doing. They're going to be trying on who they are, getting great response from some people and horrible response from other people. Because when you really change and you become more you, not everybody can handle that, right? Because everybody isn't on the same plane, not everybody's in the same frequency, and not everybody is on this journey understanding this journey. They're all on a journey, but they don't always understand this part of the journey where um, when we start to authentically be who we are and present ourselves to the world, we are like, here, this is who we are. And we might not have always been that. And so with our, our um, divine counterpart, and I'm going to say the divine masculine, um, the divine counterpart that is just awakening or just coming into who they are, beginning to understand it and bring in the energy. And I say beginning to understand it. On some level, they totally understand it. But on a human consciousness level, I think it's coming in, it's filtering in that they need to speak their truth. They need to be in alignment with what is going on inside of them, not what they've been living outside and with expectations of others. So I feel like that's what this energy about is about for the new moon. I feel like it's not so much new beginnings in the sense of all these new opportunities are arriving, but yet it is new beginnings for that new body, you know, the new um, embodiment, if you will. I'm saying new body, but I don't necessarily mean new body, although I'm, I'm thinking some of us might feel like we have a new body. Um, so that is where I think we're at with this energy of the new moon in terms of the Oh, in terms of the eclipse, boy, revelation, revelation is the word of the week. Um, I feel like lots of things are going to be revealed. Truths about you, truths about your twin. Twin will be seeing their truths as well. Um, we will see global truths around us. I don't mean global, the whole planet, although that is included. But I, I mean outside of us, you know, outside of us, outside of our union, outside of our couplehood, um, I just expanded to see that there actually are truths being revealed and a lot of things that we really need to pay attention to. We're here as lights. We're here to bring the light and be the light. And so if we're not paying attention um, to the things around us and we're just staying so solely focused on us, we're not actually living our truth in terms of being the light that we're here to bring. So I, um, I'm going to end because I'm not I'm really not feeling well again. So I, I, I'm hoping I will get back to you with a card reading for the month of September's new moon. And that I'm hoping will be by tomorrow. I can't guarantee it, though, unfortunately. And I'm hoping to get this out to you before I have to leave for my day. I do have to work for a couple hours somewhere. And then I, um, I will be back. Um, I hope you're all well. I send you blessings and peace, love, and happiness for a successful union. And I hope that you um, do what you need to clear everything away that doesn't need to be there. Namaste.